In a world where the line between science fiction and reality becomes increasingly blurred, a perplexing phenomenon has captured the attention of both NASA and the Pentagon. Mysterious metallic orbs, hitherto unseen in such vast numbers, have begun appearing in numerous locations around the globe. The implications are staggering and the questions they raise are profound. Is this a puzzle that has left the world's leading space agency and defense institution dumbfounded? Or are they deliberately concealing the truth? Join us as we embark on a journey to uncover the truth behind these mysterious metallic orbs, their sudden appearance in unlikely locations, and the tantalizing possibility that we are not alone in the vast cosmic expanse. As always, we start at the edge of the universe. What the hell is even that? NASA and the Pentagon either have no idea what is going on, or they are keeping quiet, as weird metallic orbs are being observed in big numbers all across the planet. Places where UFOs have never been seen or reported, like as the Middle East, have suddenly become UFO hotspots. We'll get to it later, but first, we have to address the fact that all of this is happening in the midst of a former intelligence official, allegedly giving over confidential information to the US Congress, stating that the US had intact and partially intact alien spacecraft. What is going on? Let's start with David Grush, a former combat officer in Afghanistan, who also served with the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force from 2019 to 2021. According to his statement, the government and defense contractors have been recovering alien technology for decades, ranging from fragmented bits to entire vehicles. Based on the vehicle morphology as and material science testing, as well as the possession of unusual atomic arrangements and radiological signals, the objects are considered to be of exotic origin or non-human intelligence, whether alien or ancient in origin. He said, and we quote, the non-human intelligence phenomenon is real. We are not alone. Retrievals of this kind are not limited to the United States. This is a global phenomenon and yet a global solution continues to elude us. And here is where things turn shocking. Mr. Grush further disclosed that information on these automobiles was being illegally suppressed from Congress. He claimed that, when he passed over secret information concerning the vehicles, he was retaliated against by government personnel. He retired from the government in April, following a 14-year stint in US intelligence. Thank you, Mr. Grush. That takes a lot of guts, and we respect it. Okay, if these non-human craft are in fact flying around the Earth on almost a nightly basis, would it make sense to you that one or more of these would crash or land? Well, that's, that's the assumption that we have to make if uh, David's story is 100% true. Um, if these objects are flying around that have been for a number of years, the assumption would be that they would likely crash at some point and that there would be an operation to retrieve it. It is worth noting that this is not the first time that both active and retired intelligence officers, with knowledge of the highly classified projects, have separately offered similar confirming material, both on and off the record. He also found a live alien. That live alien was named Eva, and he was transported to, it was a, ma a male, was transported to Los Alamos. Current and former senior intelligence officers that came to me, many of which I knew almost my whole career, that confided in me they were a part of a program, they named the program, I've never heard of it, and they, they told me, based on their oral testimony, um, and they provided me documents and other, other proof, that there was, in fact, a program that the UAP task force was uh, not read into. According to Mr. Grush's research, the Air Force conducted a disinformation effort for decades to debunk recorded sightings of strange objects. However, 
Congress is now demanding answers. But will the answers ever reach us common people? Or is that we will always be left to speculate? Looking back over the last few years, UFO sightings have grown since 2018, and there have been sightings both during the day and at night throughout the 2020 lockdown. People started asking questions, and just when we believed the government would reveal anything, the whole thing came to a halt with the Chinese spy balloon. A balloon that purportedly entered US territory and flew over it for several days without the country's knowledge. A methodical approach to discouraging individuals from asking inquiries. A methodical approach to informing the public that UFO sightings are not extraterrestrial, but Chinese, the US's new worldwide adversary. But for how long can they hide it? If NASA applies the same rigorous methodology toward UAPs that it applies to the study of possible life elsewhere, then we stand to learn something new and interesting, whatever the ultimate explanation is of those phenomena. And that's all I wanted to say right now. NASA organized an impartial study committee of 16 community specialists from various fields to investigate UFOs for nine months. And less than a year after starting its research, the study panel held its first public meeting on May 2031 to finalize its findings before publishing a report later this year. During the meeting's opening remarks, the panel identified a lack of data and its fragmented character as the most significant barrier to comprehending UAPs. Later in the discussion, the panel showed footage of an unidentified metallic spherical orb cruising somewhere over the Middle East that was initially sighted in 2022. Here it is. The orb can be seen racing through the Middle Eastern air at extraordinary speeds in this footage. This isn't the only one. Here are some more of these from around the world. Look at this thing. Is it a spy balloon, a drone, or anything else that could explain its aerodynamics? The Congress held a four-hour conference and nothing came out of it. They basically went round and round and round, eventually showing that the data is insufficient. Keep in mind that these are unclassified reports, the classified ones still remain a secret. Sean Kirkpatrick, director of the US Department of Defense's All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, RO, said the metallic orbs are the most common type of UAPs and are reported from all over the world. The orbs have been seen flying at a variety of speeds. Some appear to be motionless, while others have been recorded in active flight. The UAPs reveal no trace of thermal exhaust, such as heat produced by a vehicle's engine. That's not what we're saying. That's NASA. Anyway, here are some more of the Pentagon's sightings. What's amazing is how long people have been discussing these things. How could people in the 1950s and 1960s know about these orbs if they didn't exist? Beats the mind, doesn't it? So, would you like to travel to the other side of the universe or stick with us here at the edge of the universe? 
Until we meet again.